On this 2012, the transmission fluid dipstick and filler is way down there to the right of the oil fill. So we've warmed the car up. We have driven it up on ramps, level, level spot, and locate the square drive drain plug. Okay, it's just a 3 8 inch square drive. This vehicle has 120,000 miles and I'm just doing a refresh here and which I think is good to do periodically especially if there's over 100,000 miles on the vehicle or it's used for towing. Now on the bottom of this plug is a clot of black sludge, so we're going to clean that all off. Ah, that's magnetic, so let's pick up bits of metal. Not a bad idea to get a new washer. Thirty-three foot pounds. So how much does it take? Pretty much just under four quarts. This from Honda dealership, eight twenty-five a quart. To fit that dipstick opening, I had to put a piece of five sixteenth OD vinyl tubing on the end of my existing filler tube. And that opening there between the air intake duct and the, and the car frame is going to come in handy as a uh, prop for this during the fill process. Now if you look way down in there you can see my vinyl tubing going into the dipstick hole. Okay so this works out pretty good just propping it here because it takes a while for it to go through that reduced line Transmission fluid on this car is checked like engine oil, so run till the car is warmed up. Stop the engine, let it sit for a while, maybe 90 seconds at least, then check the level. Okay, let's pull it and check it. Okay, when it's hot, it should be right between those two holes. Thanks for watching.